I've been looking a lot at statement analysis lately. And statement analysis is very interesting. <coughs> and I guess it is a science. It is a science. Um, you follow the rules, you analyze. Uh, it, it takes too long to explain, but on my blog I have uh, posted something about it before. And I will probably, underneath this video or on the blog, put a link to one of my favorite um, statement analysis blogs out there. Um, there was an example where a girl was missing, I think she was 13, 14, whatever, um, and I am on that page where, you know, somebody said, can you analyze, who can analyze the statement from the parents to the new school? And um, immediately I, when I applied the rules of statement analysis, you know, I didn't know anything about the family, I never, I never saw the pictures, etc., etc., but wow, oh my God, you know, the, the, the triggers went off, the red flags were all over the place, where um, it takes too long to explain. So I said, oh my God, um, you're supposed to just follow the rules and analyze everything, you know what I mean? Just analyze, 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 and conclude based on that. Not even seeing a picture of the people, not even knowing who they are. You read the statement, you analyze it. Um, because otherwise you can be influenced if you don't like the look of this person or what have you. So anyways, I saw the picture and uh, immediately you can see something is wrong with the parents. And um, so I stood by my statement. I needed to sort of reaffirm that. It's all about really reaffirmation where you say, wow, okay, um, yeah, I'm going to stick by this. It's, it's, it's really working, the, the analysis. And it turned out later the father raped the girl, she ran away, the mother probably knew about it, etc., etc. So there's a reason for the body language, whatever I picked up on immediately when it came to the picture. I didn't need statement analysis for that. And a lot of people, they um, say, of course, that uh, body language is not reliable. Some dude wrote a book about how it's unreliable and that, uh, you know what, it is unreliable to most people because you cannot make, put the rules in writing. You can do it with sentence structures, you can do it with statement analysis, uh, you can do it with lie detector tests. When lie detector um, tests are not always right, but they are usually right when done by the right person and you use a language of the person when you ask the questions because you know Bill Clinton could have probably passed uh, I did not have sex with this that woman you know because in what is his personal definition you need to kind of understand uh, who the person is where they're coming from and such and such and such but what I'm talking about right now is when you are detecting deception intuitively when you have somebody in front of you and he's explaining to you what happened last night, let's say something has been stolen, has been stolen at your company, what happened? And that's all you really ask also in statement there. You even say, you say, what, just tell me what happened. And you feel immediately something's wrong here. You don't know the details. You don't know, maybe he saw somebody do something and he's covering for this person, doesn't want to tell you. Maybe he's the one who did something. Maybe he accidentally left the door open and uh, so he has guilty knowledge letting somebody... It's about detecting deception. Um, living lie detectors. Are our kind of people living lie detectors? Yes. This goes hand in hand with intuition, of course. I believe that our kind of people are, in fact, living lie detectors detectors. Not all of us use it, not all of us activate it. You've got to keep it activated. You've got to stop listening to people. If somebody tries to convince you about that we come from aliens or sends you a bunch of videos from Atlantis or all of that stuff, then you turn off who you are. You turn off your gift. Keep your gift up. If you keep your gift up, you will continue to be intuitive, a living lie detector. It will protect you even if you don't know the details. I'm pretty sure that all of you listening, all you Irish native people have at one point 
had situations that could have gone a lot worse, where probably most people of the general population would have possibly ended up dead, would have um, been abducted, would have been unable to read the warning signs, but for whatever reason, we have this protection and we are safe because of this kind of protection. So guys, uh, you are born to be a living lie detector. If you're not using this gift, use it. Let go. Stop listening to people, listen to your instinct and be safe. This is Mike Demand for ResusNegative.net. You might be arch negative if you are a living lie detector. This is part five.